Welcome back to edition number eight of our weekly walkthrough presented by Brooks Rehabilitation. We've got Sahil Deshmukh in today to talk about his two-day massive comeback to propel UNF men's tennis to the 2019 ASUN Championship by securing a 4-3 win against Liberty. Welcome back to edition number eight of our weekly walkthrough. We've got former men's tennis player Sahil Deshmukh, uh, over 70 wins for, the, for, for singles. Thanks for being on. Thank you. Give a quick intro of yourself, Sahil. Um, I, I was at UNF, what, five years ago, probably. Um, <laughs> it's been a while, but, um, I'm from India. I came down to play college tennis. Um, it was a really good experience. I think I learned a lot. So you had two ASUN championships at, uh, at UNF, but, um, the one we're going to look at today was actually in the semifinals of 2019. That day, that match actually stretched two days. Um, have you, you know, how many times have you done that in college played a match over two days do you remember another uh, time no i don't think so i think we've taken obviously taken a couple of hours mm -hmm. or oh, yeah i've done it once i've done it once but obviously those are regular seasons i don't think it was it was important but it wasn't that much on the line as compared to the conference tournament so it was 1-1 the night before and then you get to the get to the courts and they win 2-1, 3-1. It was like within 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I think it was 1-1 one, one and we went to that break almost happy there was a break, I think, because mm -hmm. we had three guys, two guys down. So it was almost like Jorge was a couple mm -hmm. of points away from losing. So like we knew there was a chance, but it was obviously the odds were stacked against us. So I mean, and we didn't play that well in the doubles. So like we didn't come out of the gates firing. So I think the break helped us kind of, but it was also, I mean, it was rough on some of us who were just like, I mean, I probably didn't sleep a wink. Like I'm pretty sure Phil didn't sleep a wink. Like mm -hmm. just thinking about what could potentially happen the next mm -hmm. day was, I think really, it was hard. Yeah. It was also, it wasn't on Stetson's primary courts. It was on their side courts. So, you know, it's kind of a weird mix of, this is the semifinals. It's day two of this yeah. match. You know, not many people are here and we're playing for a big moment. So there's yeah. a little context sets the scene a little bit and uh, we'll go and watch the highlights real quick. So you get that point. I think that that was in the third set. That was uh, the third set because mm -hmm. everyone else is done. But yeah. I think it was, I had broken a, that consolidated a break. It was, it was weird for me because I had, I'd say I had a really good season until conference, like the end of regular season conference where I lost against him, the Liberty guy, and I lost to the Lipscomb guy. Then I went to tournament not feeling, I'd say, well, the most confident and then lost to the Lipscomb guy again. So it's not like I was overexerting myself anyway. I was getting off court pretty quick knowing what is on the line kind of i mean i shut out like i don't remember thinking much i was just playing like it, it wasn't it was in completely in the zone at that point and you're talking about getting to the net uh it seemed like you know obviously that's your mo that's what you do and that's what you do best uh you were able to do that on this point so going back to to this particular point You were able to crash the net on him so well in the, uh, throughout the day. Do you think that that forced his hand on that play? I mean, I feel like he knew. Uh, with anyone I play, I feel like they know I'm coming to the net. And at that point, it's just if I can position myself in a better spot and make it harder for them to get around me, because at that point, it's just angles of the court. Like, if I'm pushing him in one corner, if I can cover the right spots, like, you're not hitting an unbelievable short cross for a winner like 10 out of 10 times. So that percentage is so low that, I mean, I can live with it and my teammates would live with it as well. So that's how I would structure my game. And that point, especially, I remember that point because he was going out wide to my forehand because obviously I just took my forehand and, you know, work around it. But um, I was okay with that game, him going wide, like I would just chip it back to his backhand and then start the point off and then find a way to get in. But then in this, I remember match point, I was like, he's probably going to do that again because he wants to free, oh, well, he wants to start the point and then get in the rally because that was his game style. But, you know, you could read his 
it was that was a split. I don't even think you like you don't think in those situations because you see a split decision where his thoughts goes a couple of inches to his left and you lean a little bit on the back end and the back end's my best shot. So I mean all I'm doing there is like taking one step in, taking it early and then at that point I'm just thinking I'm gonna pull that back end into his back end corner, rush the net as quick as I can and there's no way you can pass me from there. Like you're not because you give up the lob, they're not gonna lob you from there. It's so hard and then the only place he can go is back at you or down the line. He tried to go cross court obviously and he missed. So mm -hmm. that's what that was pretty much what I was thinking. Yeah. Any any final closing thoughts of that moment in particular? I mean, as I'm sure it was a blur. We have a couple great photos um, of that moment too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it was good. Like we, I think it we started believing more as obviously it wasn't just me. It was the guys winning that three two and three getting it back to three three. Where that's the reason obviously I was playing for that because we started believing that it was it was possible and we really wanted to beat these guys. I was definitely one of, that moment was probably one of the biggest of my college. And then also clinching the, mm -hmm. uh, the championship. Like, 